Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to provide you with an overview of the accounting cycle. Now, what exactly is the accounting cycle? Well, here I have it listed as um, it is the collecting, processing, and communicating of financial transactions. So every time a business engages in some transaction, the information from that transaction is collected. It's processed into a proper accounting format and database. And then ultimately, um, those, those transactions are collected into financial statements, which are then communicated um, to relevant parties. Um, notice here that I say the accounting cycle may be completed using either manual or automated processes. And in today's world, it's usually a combination of both. You have a lot of systems, literal computer systems, that pull in your data, process your data, format your data, but you also have manual input from um, accountants within the company who add to that system, who who check, you know, check the system for errors, make sure everything's good, they give things overview, they'll make some adjustments where necessary, so forth and so on. Um, the collection of processes known, um, the, the collection of processes used to complete um, the accounting cycle is known as the accounting information system. You will often see this abbreviated as the AIS. Whenever you see the letters AIS, that's what we're referring to. We're referring to this accounting information system, the collection of these manual and automated processes that collect, process, and communicate financial transactions. Now, Here's an illustration of what the accounting cycle looks like. It moves clockwise around this circle, and it starts at the top with economic transactions. Companies engage in economic transactions. Those economic transactions get captured in what's known as the journal entry. This is the input of the transaction into the accounting system. Those journal entries are then parsed out into individual account ledgers, where the activity in each account of the company, say the cash account or the receivables account, is tracked separately. At the end of a cycle, um, or the end of a, an accounting period, the balances from those ledgers are collected in what's known as a trial balance. Now, there are actually three trial balances in this accounting cycle. The first, I label the unadjusted trial balance because later on there will be an adjusted one. So this is the unadjusted one, often simply referred to as the trial balance. Again, these are the ending balances of the ledgers that are collected here. Um, those ending balances then get adjusted for anything that needs to be done to fix them, to make sure that they are accurate. After that, another trial balance is produced. This is the adjusted trial balance, having gone through the adjustments of the prior step. The tr adjusted trial balance is then used to prepare your financial statements. Okay, so this is the key right here. This is the communication stage. Those financial statements are then used to communicate the activity of the business to relevant parties. Once the financial statements are complete, there's going to be a set of what we call the closing journal entries. So these are additional journal entries that are made to essentially tidy up everything at the end of the accounting cycle. Once you've tidied everything up, you produce one more trial balance just to confirm that everything looks the way it should and then the cycle starts over with new economic transactions for the new reporting cycle. And that is the accounting cycle in a nutshell. Now, obviously, I haven't gone into details of any of these steps. I have plenty of other videos where I go into details for each and every one of these pieces of the cycle, but that gives you a, a sense of what it looks like. All right, hope you found this video helpful, and I hope you join me for another one.